Hey guys and girls, in this video we're going to take a look at the best travel camera. I made this list based on my personal opinion and tons of research, and have listed them based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we'll have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the travel cameras in the video, just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. Once we reach 1000 likes, we will pick a winner and notify him. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best travel cameras on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Sony Cybershot RX10 IV. In terms of offering something for everybody, the RX10 IV ticks a lot of boxes. It's like having a bag full of lenses, but with the benefit of never having to change them. There's a very long zoom, while the maximum aperture is pretty wide throughout the lens. The sensor might not be as large as the ones you'll find on a DSLR CSC, but Sony's 20.1 megapixel 1-inch device has proven itself to be very capable regardless. You also get 24 frames per second shooting, tracking 4K video quality, and handling to rival a DSLR. The major downside? The high price, if your budget is tighter. Don't forget about this camera's predecessor, the RX10 III. Number 9. Canon PowerShot SX740 HS The Canon PowerShot SX740 HS is something of a tale of two halves. The good news is that it exhibits a fine build and is generally pleasing to use, with good response across most aspects of operation. If you want a no-nonsense camera with a broad zoom range and most of the decision-making left to it, the SX740HS may just be what you're after. The flip side of this is that it's missing a few features, which are becoming the norm elsewhere. There's no touch operation, no option to move the focusing point, no electronic viewfinder, nor raw shooting. Still, if the ability to zoom is your main concern, you won't find anything longer than this. Coming in at number 8, Panasonic Lumix ZS70 TZ90. On a budget but want a capable all-rounder, the Panasonic Lumix ZS70 TZ90 is better than most at this level. On top of a very capable 30x optical zoom, you get decent 4K video recording, an LCD that responds brilliantly to touch and is nice and clear, and even raw shooting. The viewfinder is also something that few cameras at this level offer. And while it's not quite perfect, it does the job. Focusing is nice and snappy, and face detection works really well too. And the fact that the LCD flips up to face the front lets you capture selfies and group shots with ease. Coming at number 7, Nikon Z6. When it comes to best possible image quality, full frame is what you need. Time was that full frame cameras were packed inside huge bodies, which were decidedly unfriendly for travel. While Sony did a huge amount to change that with its alpha range of mirrorless cameras, it's the Nikon Z6, which we'd recommend as a perfect all-rounder. Despite being the bulkiest on this page, it's still conveniently sized for travel and gives you all the benefits of traveling with a full-frame sensor. There's also 12 frames per second shooting, 4K video, a tilting touchscreen, and a beautiful high-resolution viewfinder. Although still fairly limited, the native lenses available for the Z range are rapidly expanding. The 24-70mm f4 lenses is the ideal traveling partner. If you want to make things even smaller, also consider the brand new APS-C Nikon Z50, which also has smaller lenses to pair with it. Number 6. Panasonic LX102 The first LX100 camera arrived way back in 2014 and was notable for its use of a larger Micro Four Thirds sensor 
in a compact camera frame. There's still no worry about getting sucked into a wallet draining well of lens buying in this second gen version, and the high quality 24 to 75 mm glass will do the job for most scenarios, bar a safari. Handy travel friendly changes in the second generation LX100 include Bluetooth, USB charging, and Quickie Monochrome filter modes. Its sensor is also higher resolution than the original, with a 21.77 megapixel chip that ends up with 17 megapixels after applying the crop the camera uses for stills. It's no point and shoot camera, but if you need a big sensor in a small body, this is one of the best around. Coming in at number 5, Nikon Z50. The Nikon Z50 is a great option if you like Nikon and are after your first proper camera. It works well as a travel camera and has a very comfortable button layout. The 3.2 inch screen can also flip underneath the body to compose selfies of an altogether higher class. Although it and the tripod mount compete for space, at this point, not many lenses have been made specifically for the Z50's DX format, but the range will naturally grow larger over time, and you can use those for the full-frame Nikons too. We prefer Sony's A6500 for high-speed action shooting, but this is a good value camera and generally a joy to use. Coming in number 4, Fujifilm X-T30. For those happy to tote a compact system camera, the Fujifilm X-T30 is one of our favorites, and one that makes a heck of a lot of sense as a travel camera. Distilling many of the best elements of its older, bigger, and more expensive brother, the X-T3, into a pleasingly small format, the X-T30 will help you get gorgeous shots while also looking gorgeous itself. There's lots of great lenses available for the Fuji X system, so you'll be spoiled for choice there. While 4K video recording, a tilting touch sensitive screen, and a high resolution EVF help to round out the spec sheet. Number 3 Sony Cybershot RX107. Sony revolutionized premium compact cameras with the original RX100 as it was the first pocket-sized camera to feature a larger 1.0-inch sensor. They were always great for travel, but thanks to a relatively limited zoom lens, were perhaps sometimes overlooked in favor of other models. Things changed when we got to the RX106, which paired a much longer lens than ever before, and now we've seen some refinement of the model for the latest, the RX107. The sacrifice for making the lens longer is losing the super wide aperture of previous generations, but if you're mainly going to be shooting in sunny climates, it may not be such a big deal. There's also a heck of a lot of power under the hood of the RX107. It houses features that you might not ever use, such as a ridiculous 90 frames per second burst mode, as well as those that are more commonplace, such as 4K video. The big downside of this model is its super high asking price, but if you want the best of the best for your travels, it could just be the one for you. If your budget doesn't quite stretch to the asking price of the RX107, take a look at the older models throughout the range for better prices. Coming at number 2, Canon G5X Mark II. What the G5X Mark II loses in zoom, it makes up for in other areas. With a wide maximum aperture throughout the focal length, this is a camera which is well suited to a wide range of lighting conditions, besides which having up to 120 millimeters in 35 millimeter terms. Available is still pretty flexible. Elsewhere, there's a high performing one inch sensor, great 4K videos, and a pop-up electronic viewfinder, which pairs well with the tilting LCD screen. There are undoubtedly more advanced cameras on the market, but not many combine a good range of features like this in one competitively priced package. Number 1. Panasonic Lumix ZS200 TZ200 With the rise of high-end compacts like the excellent Sony Cybershot RX100 
5, stealing the thunder from compact travel zooms. Panasonic's response has been to keep their camera body about the same size as its earlier ZS-TZ series cameras, but to squeeze in a much larger sensor. We saw this with the Lumix ZS100, known as the Lumix TZ100 outside the US, and Panasonic has continued this with the newer Lumix ZS200 TZ200. This physically larger 1-inch sensor enables much better image quality than would otherwise be the case. But the slight downside is that the zoom range from the lens isn't quite as expensive as some others with smaller sensors. That said, the ZS200 TZ200 still sports a very versatile 15x zoom. While there's also a handy built-in electronic viewfinder, which makes it easier to compose images in bright light. It's a bit pricey, but this is still the best travel zoom compact camera available right now. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best travel camera. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.